Welcome back to another round of Black Pyramid Egg shooting. <laughs> Rumble Strip sent me this message. Have you gotten around to trying modern wad in your 20 gauge? If so, what's the difference in the pattern versus normal load? I believe I sent you a bag last year. Well, Rumble Strip did send me a bag of these last year. And I'm just not getting around to trying these out. So what we're going to do today is we're going to load these up somehow. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do that yet. And we're going to shoot these versus normal loads against the old devil. Hearing an aperture is strongly recommended. I'll figure out some way to do this. Before we gotta do that, we have to put a powder patch and ball where it won't shoot at all. <laughs> We're gonna put 90 grains of shoots in 2F down in this brassicle. All the way up. All the way up. I'll cap that horn to keep it safe. And we're going to try kind of a, it's a 20 gauge one. See, it fits right down in top of the barrel. But I've got to figure out some way to load this up. I, I don't know how to load these things up. I guess I'm going to bend these corners down as such. Maybe that'll work. I might have to put a cardboard on top of that to make them fit. So I'm going to set my little trusty measure up for an ounce of seven and a half shot. I guess I'll start it here first. I don't I don't know how to go about doing this. Well that pretty much fills it all the way up. So I guess I'm gonna bend it over a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go leave it like that. And put one of these cardboards over top of it. Should I try that? Put a cardboard on it. I guess that's I guess that's how I'm gonna have to load this up first. I really don't know a cool way to load that up. So we're going to go with that. Go going to prime us up here on the line in a few minutes and see if we can knock out the devil. See how many holes I can pepper him with with a seven and a half shot. Almost an ounce worth in here. And can we hit the balloons or not? Is the pattern too wide? I don't know. Let's just quit talking and start shooting. Let's see what happens here. Most of the pattern come over here. I did get uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five on the old devil. Of course, there's three here, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve around the old devil. But I shot it to the left, as you can tell from all the balloons that are gone. 90 grains of 2F shoots and again, clear to the top. Let's try another one of these things. Kind of weird. I haven't figured out how to load them. This time I'm not going to bend the tops. So I'm just going to start it right down here as such. I don't know if that's right or wrong. Got another seven and a half shot. Oh, go all the way, all the way to the top. And clear to the top. And since I can't bend it over without running down the ground, Let's put another thing of uh, another piece of cardboard on top of it. I guess that's the best way to load it up. There we go. Oh my goodness. Woo. These things are pretty, pretty cool to try out. Although I really haven't, uh, to be honest with you, seen much use for them yet. There's a brand new one and there's one I just shot. Got to shoot a little bit more to the right this time, Mark. Get them blues on the other side. Let's do it. Boom, that got them all. Well, that pattern was uh, pretty nice on this one. Five or six there, there. Got two, three, four, five, six, seven, two in the tail there. <laughs> and the pattern was much right about here this time. So let's put a new devil up here and we'll load it this time without those shot plastic thingies and see what happens. 
90 grains of 2 ounce Houston, capped, cardboard wad, stuff it down, 1 ounce of shot, like I put in the other one. I don't seem like much. Put the cardboard on top of that one. Let's smack this old devil. Yeah, I love it. Ooh, go check the results. I suppose the plastic wads make the groups tighter because look at this. I got one, two, that's it. Two over here, one there, and one there, and one there, and one there, and one here. That's it for that shot. So apparently if you put it loose, the pattern is really wide. I need to hang that other piece of cardboard up here, maybe shoot that over to see how really wide it is. Let's try that. 90 grains of shooting 2F, one ounce with no shot plastic thingy in between them, and just cardboard it in. Is it gonna spread to get all these balloons? Little Kentucky Wendy's in here too? Oh, I can't do it. Let's do it. We can do it. Whoa, that's a wide spread because it got every one of them but that little white one. <laughs> kind of unusual because now I got here, there, 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 one there, up here, up here. As far as the cardboard, they are about four here, four right there, six, uh, about eight there, four there. So I guess it's really spread out when you don't use those little cardboard plastic thingies. <laughs> Let's give the old boy some utter destruction. That's what we want to do. Oh! Let me show you what's interesting about this particular shot. You're going to love this. <laughs> There's a hole that big around in there. I know that wasn't from the shot. That was from the plastic plug. And there was a previous one too. <laughs> the two of those plugs went through that cardboard. I have to tinker around with this thing. I found another way you can load this thing. It uh, would be kind of easier than what I've been doing. But let's get the powder in it first. The two valve shoots in, 90 grains. I put it down in there. Instead of using the uh, jag end, put the other end on it and just put it all the way down on top of the load. So all you have now is the powder and the plastic shot wad. Then... Get my ounce of shot and put it right on top of that. Shake it around a little bit to be sure it gets on there. Put a cardboard wad on top of that. Well, that sure makes it a lot easier to load. Now let's go get him. <laughs> Brand new devil. Let's get it. Let's get him. I'll see the hole a little bit to the left. I'm sorry, to the right. I don't know, there's 10, about 20 of them in it, as far as the devil's concerned. And the rest of the pattern is around here. So it's kind of concentrated when you use the plastic shot cards and it spreads way out when you don't use one. So for what that's worth, something to think about when you're out shooting. Let me show you something that's kind of cool. The cardboard wad is <laughs> stuck right in here. That one's pretty mangled up. <laughs> yep, here's a bunch of them that I found that were, uh, I've already shot. So if you're worried about it melting inside your barrel, it's not gonna happen. But if any of you are interested in trying these in your 20 gauge smoothbore, your 62 caliber, uh, let me know in the message uh, comments below and I'll send you a few of them. I'm sure Rumble Strip won't care. I got a lot of extra ones. I'll send you a dozen or so of these and you can try them out for yourself. Thanks for watching. And remember, Jesus does love you.
and we'll catch you next Sunday on some other wacky wild adventure. Yeah, maybe you never know, it could be the old devil too. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>